Google Assistant slowly getting the boot and Gemini clearly being Google's view of the future of AI assistants, we thought it'd be fun to put them both to the test side by side with Google Assistant on our Moto Razr Plus of 2024 against the Pixel 9 Pro XL with Gemini running on it. This could be a fun little test. It's not gonna be scientific in nature. Obviously results will vary via internet connection and all that, but just as far as a quality of results, we wanted to put the two side by side. We originally thought about doing this video adding AI or Apple intelligence to the mix with Siri. However, we don't think that is quite fair yet simply because Apple intelligence has not fully rolled out new Siri. Even on beta three that just came out a couple of days ago, there's still some opportunities. It is definitely a lot faster, but it is still not what Apple visions it to be. So we'll hold off on that video. Comment down below and thumbs up this video if that's something you wanna see in the future. For now though, we are gonna do a side-by-side -side with these two. We'll use Gemini Live at the end just to add a little oomph to it. But aside from that, it'll be basic Gemini and basic Google Assistant. Let's go. All right, so we have both phones set up and on the Pixel 9 Pro XL, we do have Gemini running. And then on the Moto Razr Plus 2024, we have Google Assistant all set back up. I say set back up because if you're not familiar with it, this is actually one of the first phones that got Gemini and Gemini Live. We had to turn that back off. We have Google Assistant going, so we are good to go. Now for this video, I'm not gonna use any of the hot words, so you don't have to worry about pausing this or getting any of your devices activated by accident. We're simply gonna use the commands or the power buttons to get these going. Let's go ahead and have some fun and jump right into it. So let's launch Gemini first. What dinosaur had the longest neck? Lamentosaurus sinocanadorum, according to Discover Magazine. Lamentosaurus sinocanadorum. So you can see, I'm going to turn this down. Minus the voice differentials, the actual Google Assistant did give us our response a little quicker. Let's go ahead and back out of this and come up with another one. So. What planet is the closest to Earth? And then you can see that was pretty close. Obviously, the Pixel 9 Pro XL and Gemini did come up a little quicker and is giving us much more context here. This is actually breaking down how we define closest here. So it says at any given moment, the planet closest to Earth changes consistently as they orbit the sun. It could be Venus or Mars, depending on their positions. And then on average, it says Mercury is the closest planet on Earth, whereas opposed to Google Assistant strictly said it is Mercury. Very interesting how different of a results you get just by these two devices. Obviously, Gemini much more detail oriented here. Let's do some sort of historical question. Um, Let's see. What movie made the most money in the movie theaters historically? So you can see we got the same results here, but obviously Google Assistant did come out a little quicker here. Both did tell us it's Avatar though. Let's try something different. Make a picture of a sea turtle on the beach in vivid colors. So you can see a huge difference right here. Google Assistant actually just pulled pictures together on Etsy and Amazon that it found for what I was looking for. Whereas Gemini actually made the pictures for us and generated it. And this is obviously a lot more of what I was looking for. And I got to say, these things look really good, actually. That is much more impressive than what some of the other solutions offer, including Google's outgoing Google Assistant. So let's try to change it up and give a little bit more of a complex query here. Can you set a timer for five minutes? I mean, 10 minutes. They both picked up and did very well on that one. 
let's go ahead and tell it to cancel. Go ahead and cancel that last timer. So as you can see, both of those actually failed and the timer is still going on both of these phones, unfortunately. So that is something that hopefully will keep coming and getting improved on in the future. Let's go ahead and just cancel that. I have some eggs, bacon, yogurt, and an energy drink in my fridge. What can I make to eat? So as you can see here, it pulled in from results on the web, giving us some ideas, whereas Gemini actually told us a quick and easy breakfast idea to make bacon and eggs, a yogurt parfait, and use the energy drink alongside the breakfast for a boost. Again, you can see the difference in mentality between both of these assistants right here. I think what's very cool and what's going to really come to the forefront is Gemini Live, which obviously you can see right here. This is going to allow you to have a natural conversation and continue your conversation, which is something you cannot currently do with assistant. So I'm going to give you an idea and show you how that works here as well now. How tall is LeBron James? LeBron James is officially listed at six feet nine, but some sources say he's actually closer to six feet eight. Did he play for the Olympics, USA basketball team? Yeah, LeBron James has played for the U.S. Olympic basketball team. Who else played on that team? Some big names on this year's U.S. Olympic basketball team include Damian Lillard, Anthony Edwards, Jalen Brunson. Who is Anthony Edwards? Anthony Edwards is a young American basketball star. He's only 22 years old and already considered one of the best players in the NBA. Why is he considered the best? Well, it's a bit of a hot take to call Edwards the absolute best right now. He's definitely amazing, but there are other top-tier players in the NBA. Here's why Edwards... Who's rumored to be the best NFL football team for the 2024 season? Well, it's still early, but the Kansas City Chiefs are looking pretty strong. They've got Patrick Mahomes leading the offense, and they made some key moves in the offseason. The San Francisco 49ers and the Cincinnati Bengals are also looking like serious contenders. What sort of images can you generate for me? Can you make a picture of a sunset on a beach in a cyberpunk theme? Sorry, I can't show pictures here yet. So you can see how great it is, and then you get a visible video, or excuse me, visual representation of exactly all of your questions and the results right from here. So you can see where it's still limited, it can't generate pictures. That is where you will need to go out of Gemini Live and back into simply Gemini and do what we did earlier. Can you generate a picture of a sunset at the beach with cyberpunk vibes? And you can see, just like we did earlier, it will generate a picture in a few seconds, and you would be good to go. So Gemini Live is an added cost right now, whereas Gemini is included. And you can see exactly what it generated here. I think, well, minus that one with those little lines, I think this one and this image is very good. You can always generate more if you choose, if you want a different result. But you can see how much more powerful and promising this is. What's also awesome to see, obviously, like we said, Gemini is active on other devices than Pixels right now. This does not have nearly as much RAM as the actual Pixels do, so there's hopes that this will be improved as time goes, even with Gemini and even on lower RAM models, because RAM is a huge factor of what makes these AI models tick. Even Apple will be implementing higher RAM in their future iPhones dropping next month. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.